Okay, so this is one of the best games of all time. So we're gonna go ahead and cover it like all the way through. Um, the Land Rover is awful. They actually removed it from for the second game, from what I understand. The combat interface is pretty cool. It's got a pause option, which I understand is not very realistic, but due to the fact that it's an interface, it's kind of necessary because you're dealing with things um, that you don't run into as much in real life. Um, so, you know, obviously they're in psychic uh, fantasy books and so on and so on. But, um, you know, like the fact that you have bionics, the fact that you have heal powers, um, you know, the fact that you have shield, cloaking, etc. So you kind of need a second to get used to the controls where it pops up and you can actually go through and um, organize that in tandem with the fact that it's an FPS. So you can't just go in and shoot. You have to actually have that organized as well. So that's cool. Um, they set that up by the end of the game. It's kind of second nature. You just go through and do it. There's a very slight pause where you would normally do something that you saw in like Haxen that you see in um, Overwatch where you can just cast. But since you are also an FPS, um, they don't have a click over interface. They just have a pause. Mind you, this, this game came out, gosh, I think it was like 2005. So um, we're talking a long time ago. This first in the series of three. So, um, pretty incredible. It's got an amazing backstory. It's got a really flesh, well fleshed out world. Um, it was written by, I think, two PhDs who actually went through and put content into it that you don't need to read, but it, it really tells the story um, of, you know, um, the entire world. Anyway, so you're like, 2170 or something. We make contact with alien races. Um, there's a home world that's actually a space station. There's these connectors that actually um, compress your mass and shoot it across time space, um, which is kind of sketchy theory um, because at the other end of them, um, it's better than wormhole theory because you actually get trapped in a black hole. But um, insofar as your consciousness keeping up with it, um, there would have to be an anchor at the other end, and there's like a whole lot of quantum physics involved in that, you know, moving through to the other side of energy and being transported to such and then realigning as molecules. Um, so that's the mass effect. You can actually, you know, you send your spaceships through that, and it's kind of like the teleportals in that that you're used to seeing. Um, so that's how you do, do space travel. Connection confirmed. ID records are incomplete. Please confirm the ID records. No identity. Please log in to access your profile. My last name is going to be Shepard, huh? Okay, so it'll be Ann Ginger Shepard then. Petty crime and underworld gangs. Born and raised in Mindori. Mindor? Mindwar? Small border colony. Attic and Traverse. Sixteen slavers raided them, slaughtering my family and friends. Saved by a passing alliance patrol. Most with the military. Both your parents were alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations. Well, let's go for the saddest backstory ever. Psychological profile. 
trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that you would have broken most people. So I were all around you fell and now you're alone or left to tell the tale. Risk your own life, defeat the enemy, bravery and heroism. Get the job done. Cold, calculating, brutal, your reputation with your ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers aware of you, but when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Which one is it? First time I played that, I played Soul Survivor, so I think I'll go with Ruthless. Um, military specialization. Oh, well, that's easy. An infiltrator. Confirm facial identification. Does he look like me? What are my options here? I am pale, let's see here. Well, I do not have pouty lips, so it's one of those. Duck face, but aside from that, this is getting more accurate. Cheekbone allergies. I'm getting a little crazy on the cheekbones there. Ear size. Your orientation. Let's see, eyes. No shape. Like derpy eyes here. My height. I'm being very precise. You have to play this character all the way through, so it's like important. Actually, look like you know whatever you feel like playing. Like depths, and that's the time. Brow depths, all the way. No, about right. Iris color. Hard to reconstruct here. Whoa! I don't know, it was like a horse. So. Time now for 
Talk to you with a full ten minutes of me like making my character. Might need to be cut there. A little too upturned. <laughs> I should be less amused by this game than I saw my Whoa. Well, I'm so used to the other haircut, I played it all the way through with the bob. They do not have an attractive female cut, but that's not shocking. We're talking the military here. What's my hairline? Alright. Brows. Not existent. Where are my arched eyebrows? I like my eyebrows. Very well groomed. Dude, I get to do that? Of color, I should have color. Well, let's know all that. You know that I would go for the hooker red here in the military? We'll go with the neutral. Reconstruction complete. Close enough. <laughs> Identification confirmed. Uh, we'll do normal. Subtitle. So yes, yeah, on the subtitles. We got auto save. I love auto save. All right. <laughs> What about Shepard? She grew up in the colonies. She knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Minbar. She got most of her unit killed on Torfu. She gets the job, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? No, we should get someone we kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Because, you know, assassins, they're like the same as politicians. Explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient sparing civilization. Decades have followed, mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel. Basis for this incredible technology was, of course, to control the very fast of space and time. We call it the greatest discovery in human history. Civilization of the galaxy call it the Mass Effect. Shoot your mass through a positron collider. It's a great idea. <laughs> the Arcturus Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence.
timing. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500 K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. I just gave you a card. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. Paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on your investment. Yeah, that is the official story. Only an idiot believes the official story. All right, what am I? I'm hard hitting. Oh, dude, my Xbox controller isn't working. This is messed up. I'm gonna need a mouse then. Excuse the jiggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm not a noob. I thought I could Xbox this. All right. That's enough. Your soldiers act like it. Sorry. Nicole. Anyway, Joker. That is a boy. Go <laughs> Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into that area. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach you. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is out of your way. He's already here. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Alright. The zero to access the codex. <laughs> zero, of course, I mean O. Personal history summary. Humanity and systems. Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government representing the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. Alright, so I'm going to go see the Turians. Uh, just because I'm on camera. They are kind of fascinating to go through. Um, when I did play this originally, I was playing on my brother's Xbox. Sue, so, W-A-D-S, to move forward. So, um, I did skip a whole lot of it. I'll probably watch a lot of cam camera. We're getting dragged right along with it. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, ma'am, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Usually got a schmooze. Let's make see the boss. Not everybody's an NPC that you can talk to. What's up, chat boss? What the heck was that? <laughs> Why am I shooting? Hold on, let me tab out, toggle that off. I should not be in combat mode. For some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. The Marines are meant to fight. You just fix us up and we're done. I know it's how things work, Mikey. I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, Doc. And he's got a great helmet. Killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a specter on board. Such a breeze. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on the fourth Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. 
this mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid and mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. How can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. Well, you did on Torfin. That's what they're looking for. Success at any cost, ruthless efficiency, show no mercy. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the council could revoke the Spectre status if an agent got out of hand. At that point, Citadel security services were taken. Those c sec wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police Six. themselves. Oh. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take them. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality. How do you control agents with unlimited Oops. power? I the one thing I hate about this game. I mean, I love that you can repeat it if you miss it. That point, Citadel security services were taken. Those c sec grunts wouldn't stand a chance. Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. I kind of feel like they should have different responses that have the same data. Maybe by Mass Effect 3. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality. The captain's waiting for him. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> All right, so apparently I'm at a little bit renegade in that conversation. You can get different points for different things. Um, bottom line being, you know, like, if you're renegade enough, then you can talk people into or out of... Okay, how does that keep happening? I just want to talk! Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. You'll give us a chance to talk. Captain said he'd meet me. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. What do you know of it? It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a cool for pick up the right? That's why we needed the stealth systems operation. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top of me. The information is strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. Get all it's all based stop. on Prothean technology. This is big show. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped out with technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the city for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interest, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. How are you? that beacon will improve relations with the Gleason. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more than the Protheans that we do. The 
Beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Sharon. Nihilus wants to see you in action. He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of the species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions to give. You will be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Now is what that will be to the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what I told us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard it from the But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Hmm. Let's just camera in here. Getting some static. All right. Always do your homework. Who shows up for the mission? Find out what's going on. It's a peaceful farm, but it represents something much bigger. Maybe Inspector Gray. You know what my mission is. I can be your offer. What happened there? Forging place for humanity. All about it. Cat entity, dog entity. Galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons beacon? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. My code. The Attica Defense isn't the most stable sector of city in space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a proof of beacon. It's worth the risk of attacking an alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus system. The Attica traverses under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over us. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. All right. Just give the word, Captain. Mm -hmm. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, <laughs> we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? The transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. I'm all for this one. Bring it up on screen. Sneezing and what's doing in the beginning of the line. Sword. Gauging stealth systems. <laughs> Somebody was doing some serious digging. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about Got survivors, it. Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. 
cul-de-sac here. Anytime you want to point me towards the exit. Alright, to uncrouch, press left control. Pistols here. Is that it? Okay. Enter. Keep learning a new control interface. Oh, I have like five points. Okay. Um, weapons and armor maps. Got it. that if I like <laughs> wind up shooting him. Ah, oh, dude, don't shoot Jenkins! Let's stop. How do I investigate? I'm so sorry, Jenkins! My options. Use tactics HUD. No, I want to do the thing that it keeps offering me. I. No, it's not the one that's inventory. <laughs> God, Jenkins. 